Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, today is day number one uh, to begin the seven steps to deliverance. And um, before I get started, I want to pray. There's a lot of families that are really going through so much and the loss of loved ones. So, Father, we pray this morning, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we come, Lord God, to lay ourselves before the altar. Holy Spirit, have control over everything I say and do right now, Lord God. Holy Spirit, lead and guide me what to say and how to say it. Father, we come, Lord God, holding family members up that have lost loved ones. Lord God, with everything that's going on in our world, Lord Heavenly Father, we have no other choice but look to you. And the ones that don't know any other way, Lord God, I pray, Lord Heavenly Father, that you would um, open their eyes to understand you more. Open the eyes of their understanding, Lord Heavenly Father. And, and Lord God, let them realize that they need a Savior. In times like this, we need a rock, and it, that rock is Jesus. So, Father, we hold them up this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, as I go forward with this series that you have given me, Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus over my own family. I plead the blood of Jesus over my church family, O oh, Heavenly Father, that there will be no backlash, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that there will be no doors for the enemy to come in and attack. Lord God, we realize that as Christians, warfare is inevitable. But Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, we cover everybody that's connected to us. O oh, Heavenly Father, you be glorified, Lord God, as we go forward. Um, with this teaching, Lord God, to enlighten people, Lord God, that no matter how deep down they go, no matter how deeply evil is dealing with them from on the inside, God, you're able to heal, deliver, and set them free. And so, Father, all souls belong to you. And Father, what we do, Lord God, we come to give you glory. Lord God, we just honor you today, and we praise you, and we ask you to just have your way, Lord. Have your way in this session, Lord God, and you be glorified and satisfied in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, my goal, our goals as Christians should be to save souls. Amen. And I think many times we get so busy and so caught up with the doing of things and programs and stuff. And, and many times I believe we forget what our real job is. It's to glorify God. Amen. But the saving of souls. Amen. And so that's what my heart's desire is. And I don't care what someone else say about another person, what that person has done. Y'all, I know God is able and what we have to understand is we got people in our own families that need to be saved that that at one time or or another you may have given up on them but I want to encourage you today don't give up on your family members I don't care guys how and what they do we got to have a heart for God's people and we got to see people through not our own natural eyes but ask God to Allow us to see people through his lens, through his eyes. Amen. Because it is his desire that every soul be saved. Amen. And so we want to have the heart of God. Amen. So I want to start today um, the first step. But before I go into the steps, I want to read a few things because I, I, I think people... Their mindset, they get so used to just doing things and, and it get to a place where they don't even recognize that it's sin and, and it has really gotten them into a place now to where it has been, it is it, normalized and it has become the norm in their life. And people on the outside many times can see it, but um, it's just like with me, I can see things with people. But I will not touch it unless the Lord lead me to. I will pray for people, but I don't want to ever say anything or do anything to cut people um, in a damaging way. Amen. So we got to really be careful of what we say and how we say it. Amen. Be bold in speaking what the Lord give us to speak. No doubt about it. But where is it coming from? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Where is it coming from? Amen. Hallelujah. So, 
Are we affected by sin? By all means, we are affected by sin. Amen. Because of the fall, our entire being is affected by sin. Our bodies decay, fail, and die, and our hearts are corrupted. Our, our hearts desire that which is sinful, and we must always be fighting against that. And don't think we don't know it. We know it. People of God, those of you that are watching, we know this. Paul himself writes about this battle we have with the flesh. And he says here in Romans 7, 15 through 20, for I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law. That is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me. That is in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I want to do, it is no longer I who do it but sin that dwells within me. Amen. And so I wanted to start that off with that, that we, we have to understand that we can love the people. We can um, expose the spirit, but we have to love the person. Amen. Because what we recognize is we recognize the sin. We, we recognize what's driving them. But we, we have to continue to love the person in spite of the sin that they may find themselves in, as this scripture said. So, number one step to deliverance is honesty. And I shared that on yesterday's video. We're talking about the steps to deliverance. Number one, this is day one, honesty. We have to come clean. We have to be honest. When you're dealing with things that you know that's out of the norm and it's not what you would normally do. As a matter of fact, many times it's not even what you want to do. Um, you have to call it what it is. Just be honest. Amen. And when you come to God, be honest. Be honest. And if there's anyone that you can trust, to expose the enemy, because that's what it is. You're exposing darkness. You're exposing those dark areas in your life. Amen. So you must be honest with yourself and with God. If you expect to receive God's blessings of deliverance, lack of honesty keeps areas of your life in darkness. And saints of God, trust me, it does. Amen. It does. But you got to have somebody, as I said, that you can trust. And that person has to be, has to have um, patience with you. Amen. And um, let me just stick a pen in it right there. I believe that we're living in a time where we want people to just generally come to the church and already be okay, already be cleaned up. You don't go fishing like that. And that's why we uh, make the example of saving souls similar to going fishing. Amen. But we become fishers of men. Amen. And so therefore we, we have to have patience. The, the process of being saved and um, walking into the steps of being born again, we have to recognize and realize that it's a process. And many of those steps is the process of of, of going in step by step in deliverance. Amen. Um, demon spirits thrive on such darkness. Listen, demon spirits thrive on such darkness because one thing about evil, the enemy recognizes it. He knows it's there. Amen. Honesty helps bring them to light. Any sin not confessed or repented of uh, gives the demon the legal right to remain. Ask God to help you see yourself as he sees you and to bring to light anything that is opposed of him. Psalms 32 and 5. I acknowledge my sin to you 
and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Amen. So next then you want to say, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there be any hurtful way in me and lead me in the everlasting in the everlasting. Amen. That's Psalms 139, 23 through 24. Amen. And that's the first step. This is day one. That's the first step to deliverance is to be honest, recognize the things that are not like God in your life. Amen. And if you don't recognize it and realize it, and some many people don't, find someone that you can talk with and speak with about the things that are taking place in your life. And don't be offended when they tell you that that is darkness. Amen. God bless you and God keep you until the next time for day two. God bless.